Hi everyone, how are you doing? Richard here. Um, and I just, in this video, I just want to go through my entry into Side Effects um, Tech Art Challenge, which is pretty exciting. Um, it's on till uh, the twenty, uh, the thirtieth of September, twenty twenty one, um, and it's just a way to sort of engage with the community. Really, it's some really cool stuff up there already, which is uh, which is awesome to see. So if if you if you feel up for it, uh, I'll uh, I'll see you over there. Uh, and what it is, they're asking for either a game asset or uh, a Houdini utility. So I've gone with um, a game asset. So. In my ongoing quest to find the, the most boring things in the world to model, uh, I decided to do um, a procedural cable <laughs> conduit. I don't know why, um, it just seemed like another one of those assets that would be incredibly tedious to model using uh, traditional methods and it's something that you you know you wouldn't pass on to your, your your greatest artist to do for you and a perfect candidate for for some procedural modeling so this is the type of thing that I'm talking about you often see them in in the ceiling space of sort of industrial buildings it's where these cables kind of are very very neatly run um, in a sort of a conduit pattern so I'm thinking it'd work quite well in a sci-fi or an industrial sort of environment for a game and like I said would be really tedious if you were forced to model all these pipes and cables and things by hand so that's kind of the thinking behind it um, so these were my main references that I gathered um, obviously some very very simple shapes but looking at it you can see lots of repeating elements which you know is, is ideal for procedural modeling um, and obviously there's a lot of variation, lots of shapes and sizes, lots of different configurations and things. So that, again, that sort of said to me that this would be a great candidate for some procedural modeling. Uh, so let's jump into Houdini. So I'm here in a, in a brand new scene. I'm gonna drop down an instance of my um, digital asset. Um, if you want to install it and find it, it should be under a, a subnet, a subfolder called Banks R HDA and it's called Cable Conduit Tool. All right, so as we can see, very, very simple. I, I sort of did this in about a day, or that wasn't really, <laughs> I don't really have time to spend much, but it was a fun project. Um, so here we go, we've got the cable uh, conduit tool. Um, as requested in the rules of the competition, it's got its own little help card as well, which was quite fun to put together. So if, you, if you're if unsure of what the parameters do, you can just check the help card. Um, it's all pretty much self-explanatory really. So here we are on the cable tray tool. It requires an input here in Houdini. So I'm just gonna to jump to the top viewport, uh, make sure I've got grid snapping and I'm creating in context. And then I'm just gonna drop down a curve. Um, so let's just put down a, a funky kind of shape to test it with. So something like that. You can press enter to finish that tool. So there's our, if you imagine if you were laying out your, your level, you could sort of sketch around the walls or, or things like that. And then once we've got our curve and our tool, we can just connect them up. And initially the tool is in uh, a thing called build mode. This is just to enable you to have some really quick method of tweaking the points. And so if you know, if you want to go in and sort of re-edit some points, there's minimal sort of weighting and processing of, of things like that. Once you're, once you're kind of happy with the, with the rough placement of your points, you can come back to the tool and turn off build mode. And here it is in its default configuration. Um, it's currently set up to be, uh, to use two sided materials in Unreal. So ignore those, uh, those back faces there. And let's just step through the, the parameters. So the first parameter we've got is the tray type and I'm calling this a, a full tray. Um, and we've also got an option for a partial tray. So you can see here, we're just capturing the, the corners of the, uh, of, the, of the cable tray. And then the rest of the parameters are pretty self-explanatory. We've got a width slider that we can play with. Um, we can change the type of support. So currently we've got this little simple bolt running through them. We can change them over to chains um, because chains are always cool. Uh, and then we can have none should we wish. We can drop the height so we can place it on the roof and then sort of tweak the, the height of the, of the drop of the, of the conduit. Uh, we've got some spacing of the support so you can dial in how much 
or how little of those intermediate support structures you want uh, and then let's have a look what we've got we've got some cables so you can set how many cables you want um, we can tweak the spread of them a little bit and we've also got a multiplier on the thickness as well so plenty of parameters to get like a, a varied look uh, we've also got this cable sag effect going on as well that we can dial in so we can really push it to the extreme and have sort of a messy um, messy look to it or we could zero that out and have if you were working with metal pipes or pipes that you, that you, you want it to look quite tidy in addition to that we've got some vertex color as well which will drive a shader in unreal engine and this is just a simple um, color ramp so you can specify individual colors and you can see them updating in the viewport there as we slide they're just picked at random uh, so you can again this is another element that you can sort of randomize and sort of create a, a different look so that's the, the the asset in houdini like i said super super simple um but i, th I think it fulfills the, the the brief of um automating a boring modeling task quite well uh, so let's jump over to uh, unreal engine and um, we can instantiate an instance of that at the origin and there you go you can see we're, we're into our um, build mode there so if I select the the spline actor we can select these nodes here and if we hold down alt we can draw out our conduit pattern okay and then if we come out of build mode it will uh, it will build and then you can see it's, it's picking up the the correct uh, material assignments as well so we've got this sort of mesh effect on the um, on the underside tray there and we can use all the same parameters that were present in uh, in Houdini so we've got all the, the different number of cables the the amount of sag we've got on the cables all present in in Houdini engine and you know to populate a level would be just a matter of you know just dropping another instance in there uh, and then just tweaking the positions and you know set the values and things like that so you can very very quickly populate your level with um, with boring assets <laughs> with boring cable trays um, it was a lot of fun to make and um, yeah so that is my uh, that is my cable tray asset um, please feel free to comment uh, I'm on the forums on the side effects uh, tech art challenge bit so come and say hello any feedback I'd love to hear it um, so yeah thank you very much